now we will define current density suppose this is a material in this material if charge carriers move from one side to other side if i observe the charge carriers then for this small time dt i have observed the charge carriers these charge carriers moves from this point to this point means there is a change in charge with respect to change in time and if there is change in charge with respect to change in time so i can say that this material is conducting means current is flowing through the material current is nothing but change in charge with respect to change in time <coughs> in semiconductors when the charge carriers will move there will be change in charge with respect to change in time and uh, we will define the current in the semiconductor but we have already seen that in semiconductor charge carriers move due to two mechanisms number 1 drift mechanism and number 2 diffusion mechanism in drift mechanism we have applied electric field and due to this electric field the charge carriers move while in diffusion there is motion of charge carriers due to uh, change in uh, concentration or if concentration gradient dn by dx or dp by dx exist in the material then the charge carriers will move from higher concentration to lower concentration as there are two type of motions in uh, of the charge carriers we will define two current densities number 1 drift current density drift current density drift current density is due to the motion of charge carriers due to drift mechanism and this drift current density is defined as j drift equal to sigma into e applied electric field conductivity sigma is called conductivity and we know the equation of this conductivity for different material and this e is applied electric field the unit of current density is ampere per meter square ampere ampere per meter square or amperes per centimeter square for different type of material the conductivity equation can be obtained by putting different values of sigma number 2 diffusion current density diffusion current density is due to motion of charge carriers uh, due to existence of concentration gradient diffusion current density is defined for electrons and bo holes both separately for electrons diffusion current density is defined as jn diffusion is equal to dn into q into dn by dx and for holes this diffusion current density is defined as jp diffusion equal to dp into q into dp by dx where q is charge of carriers charge of carriers and its value is 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb sorry this diffusion current density is equal to jp equal to minus dp into q into dp by dx and dn by dx or dp by dx is called concentration gradient
and dn is called electron diffusion constant and dp is defined as whole diffusion constant electron diffusion constant and whole diffusion constant this is the current intensity in the material now we will solve some more problems on on basic semiconductors a silicon sample sample a doped with 10 raised to power 18 doped with 10 raised to power 18 atoms per centimeter cube of boron and another sample B of identical dimension is doped with 10 raised to power 18 atoms per centimeter cube of phosphorus calculate sorry electron to hole mobility means mu n by mu p equal to 3 calculate the ratio of conductivity of sample A to conductivity of sample P this question was asked in gate 2005 sample A in sample A uh, boron was added if boron was added sample A is P type semiconductor in sample B phosphorus was added and with the addition of phosphorus the sample B will be N type semiconductor conductivity of sample A to conductivity of sample B will be conductivity of P type semiconductor to conductivity of N type semiconductor which is written as N A into Q into mu N upon N A N D into Q into mu P which will be 10 raised to power 18 by 10 raised to power 18 into mu N upon mu P sorry uh, this will be mu p and this will be mu n this will be mu n and this ratio will be mu p upon mu n this will cancel out and the ratio mu n upon mu p is given as 3 then mu p upon mu n will be 1 by 3 next question the intrinsic carrier concentration of silicon at 300 degrees Kelvin is 1.5 into 10 raised to power 16 per meter cube if after doping the 
number of majority carriers are 5 into 10 raised to power 20 per meter cube the minority carrier density is this question was asked in gate 2003 here we are given with intrinsic carrier concentration and i equal to 1.5 into 10 raised to power 16 per meter cube if the semiconductor is doped the majority carrier concentration is given as majority concentration is equal to 5 into 10 raised to power 20 and we are asked to calculate minority carrier density we know that according to mass action law according to mass action law majority carrier density majority carrier density or carrier concentration into minority carrier concentration majority carrier concentration into minority carrier concentration equal to an i square using this mass section law we can calculate minority carrier concentration as minority carrier concentration will be equal to an i square by majority carrier concentration majority carrier concentration major ni is given as 1.5 into 10 raised to power 16 and its square will be taken and majority carrier concentration is given as 5 into 10 raised to power 20 this will come out around 4.50 into 10 raised to power 11 per meter cube let's solve one more problem on basic semiconductors the concentration of electron in a sample of uniformly doped n type silicon at 300 degrees Kelvin varies linearly varies linearly from 10 raised to power 17 per centimeter cube at x equal to 0 to 6 into 10 raised to power 16 per centimeter cube at x equal to 2 micrometers if electronic charge is 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb and diffusion constant constant dn equal to 35 centimeter square per second the current density in silicon if no electric field present is so in this problem uh, we are given uh, concentration of electron at x equal to 0 and concentration of electron at x equal to 2 micrometer 
and diffusion constant is given we are to calculate the uh, current density in the semiconductor material if no electric field is present we already know that the current density uh, is due to two mechanisms one due to drift mechanism and one due to diffusion mechanism here electric field intensity is zero so we can conclude that j drift will be equal to zero there will be no drift current density but there will be diffusion current density and we have to calculate that diffusion current density in this material we take two point x equal to zero micrometer and x equal to two micrometer at this point the carrier concentration is 10 raised to power 17 per centimeter cube and at this point it is 6 into 10 raised to power 16 per centimeter cube if we want to calculate diffusion current density due to electrons j and diffusion its equation is given by dn into q into dn by dx q is given dn is given dn by dx we have to calculate this is called concentration gradient we have to calculate this concentration gradient concentration gradient dn by dx can be calculated as change in electron concentration with respect to change in distance equal to n2 minus n1 upon x2 minus x1 for example i take this point as 1 and this point as 2 so n2 equal to 6 into 10 raised to power 16 minus n1 equal to 10 raised to power 17 divide by x2 2 micrometers and minus 0 micrometer the unit of this concentration is per centimeter cube while the unit is micrometer in the denominator so we will have to uh, change the unit of denominator first we will calculate the numerator part and it will come out minus 4 into 10 raised to power 16 minus 4 into 10 raised to power 16 divide by 2 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter into 10 raised to power 2 centimeter so it will be minus 4 into 10 raised to power 16 divided by 2 into 10 raised to power minus 4 centimeter and this will be per centimeter cube and this will come out to be minus 2 into 10 raised to power 20 per centimeter cube we have calculated the dn by dx dn by dx is minus 2 into 10 raised to power 20 now the current density can be calculated as j n diffusion will be equal to dn into q into dn by dx and this will be 35 into 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 into minus 2 into 10 raised to power 20 this will be And after calculating, this will come out as minus 1120 ampere per centimeter square. Negative electric field and negative current density means negative sign represents uh, electrons move from x2 to x1. Electrons move from x2 to x1, but current flows in the opposite direction. This is flow of electron diffusion or diffusion direction of electron and this is direction of current so electric field will be negative due to electrons